Hi. Um, happy Friday. I know I am super glad for it to be Friday. Super, super glad. I've had quite a week. Um, I miss you guys. I love seeing your apartment. That's so exciting. It was very nice. Um, I like that you named each of your bedrooms. We had Mordor. And we had the Shire. Well, that's the name of the apartment. Um, and Narnia. Kathy Hobbiton, I believe it was. I think so, because, I mean, you pretty much are a hobbit. That's cool. As you can see, I have included your awesome map into my bedroom-ness. I like it. Um, I, it hasn't fallen down on me. So I put tacks in it, but when there was tape, it definitely fell down on me a lot. It's horrifying. Um, I'm sitting next to my bookshelf, which is all kinds of organized and pretty right now, and... Over here you can see books have kind of, oh god, what's happening? Leaked onto the sides a little bit. <laughs> My John Greens are over there uh, for easy access during midnight cry sessions. Um, I cut my bangs, as y'all can see. Don't let me near scissors. Oh, and these also function as straight across bangs. But I don't think I like that as much, so let's put those back where they belong. Um... Oh, it's been a long week. Oh, that British boy of mine. Yeah. We had kind of a thing today because, I mean, in the very beginning, I told him, I said, listen, my school comes first, and you need to understand that I'm going to choose school over you every single time because, you know, school. And he was like, oh, yeah, babe, of course, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do, you, gotta, you do what you got to do. And today I was reading my book. It was Faulkner. Faulkner. Um, and it was really good, and I was enjoying it, and I was supposed to have it read by Wednesday, halfway through, so we're on the right track, um, halfway through, and he kept, like, trying to like, pull me into his arms, and lay down with me, and stuff like that, and I was like, no, go away, no, no, go away, I I'm reading, I'm reading, and, I mean, you guys know what that's like, it's, leave me alone, I'm reading. I have a book in my hands. I'm otherwise occupied. Um, and he was getting really frustrated with me. And so I moved downstairs so I could sit in the comfy chair with a blanket and read and eat my macaroni and cheese. But um, at one point, and he was blaring his music, which, by the way, is hardly music. It's all wub wub. And I, I dig a little wub wub every now and then. But, I mean, it's entirely wub-wub. And that's a little difficult when you're trying to read. And blaring it. Oh my goodness gracious, it was awful. Um, my phone's going off. It's exciting. Um, but I just... So that was frustrating. And then he came down and he was like, I don't understand why you came over if you're just gonna read the whole time. And I told you, I was like, I told you it was gonna be like this. I told you. I... I and so I said, you know what, fine. And so I put on my coat and I packed up my bag and I said, I'm going to the library. And I left. And I haven't heard from him since. I mean, and he's like, no, babe, I didn't mean that. You know, whatever. You can stay here if you want. I'll be quiet. But it's like, it's not even, it's not even that. It's that he kept doing it. And it was This was over like a two hour period that he kept bothering me and he kept coming to me and being like, come on, come be with me. I thought you came over here to see me. Blah, blah, blah. And I want... It's like, okay, the reason I'm studying while I'm here with you is because this is all I have to give. This is all of it. I don't even have time for myself, but I'm making time to be with you. And I'm trying to make it work. I am trying. And the thing is, it's only been, what, like two weeks now? Not even? <sighs> excruciatingly frustrating excruciatingly because there is not a thing in the world not a thing in the world that is more important to me than getting to where I want to go not sleep, not sanity not my family nothing, not even a cat okay, not even a cat I want a cat so freaking badly um and it's just very I don't know, disheartening, I guess. We'll see. Oh, I missed a bit. 
No, did I? Did I miss a bit? No, wrong side. Yep, I missed some. Awesome. All right. Um, exciting news, though. Thing I love of the week. <laughs> oh, Tyler Oakley. Um, I am starting to do research in my bacterial genetics class, which is really cool. Starting to do research, and if we are successful with the research, he's going to publish with us at the end of the at the end of the semester. And so, I'm like really, really excited. So I started doing all my book research, and eventually I have to start doing stuff in lab. But um, we're pretty much being given free reign of the lab for the rest of the semester to run these trials and these experiments, and I'm loving it so far. It's super, super exciting. Um, I will be coming home. Yay. November 9th. November 9th. And I will be coming to see you, because I have to, and I have such an insane craving for f food. It's insane. It's, it's, it's an insane craving, so of course it's insane. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But I need pennies, and I need real pizza, because Miss Chicken doesn't know how food works. I tried. Um... I'm about to go and spend my super mega exciting Friday night at the library studying like boss. While other youths will be gallivanting around campus, drinking and boozing and whoring as they are wont to do, I'm going to have my nose buried in a couple books. Yep. Um, I miss you guys. I love you. I really hope you're having fun right now because you should be having a huge Shire extravaganza that I really should have been able to come to. But, you know, I need to find me a um, money person to give me all the money in the world. That's what I need. All right, my screen went dark. I think it's a sign. I love you guys. Bye.